Shalom. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone at Ruel. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Who this wordly calls God, Yahweh Shah being the true name of our Lord and Savior, who this wordly calls Jesus, Bahashem in the name, and Rakhak Wadash in the Holy Spirit. I'm the brother Yawanathan, coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem al Shah, and I pray that this lesson is edifying, all right? Bashem al Shah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, and in this lesson, man, I'm going to be going into, you know, how this word, right? You know, how this word has gone out. You know, it's going out throughout the four corners of the earth, man, and how there isn't going to be any excuse. All right. There isn't going to be no excuses, man. in the times that we're, you know, that, that the times that we're uh, coming into, because in the book of Amos, the eighth chapter it speaks about how there's going to be a famine of this word, man. You're going to have people desiring. All right. To to hear the words of Yahweh Basham al Shah, and they're not going to be able, man. All right. Also, the scripture uh, speaks about how they misuse the prophets, man. And we're seeing that, man. You know, you nobody can tell us, right, that, hey, the Bible is not, in fact, true, man. Nobody could, you know, try to, uh, you know, cut us or, you know, uh, rebuke us with this sword, man. Because you have Basham al Shah has put his Holy Spirit back unto his men. It also speaks about how they can gainsay nor resist, all right? You know, so... And really, uh, through the spirit, you know, what made me come up with this lesson, man, is, you know, that individual Charleston White, even though we made videos, countless videos on that, man, you know, and, you know, it's not particularly about him. All right. But we're seeing that many Israelites, right, many so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. All right. They're um, they're denying the words of Yahweh Basham al Shah. You know, they heard the words. They understand you know who they are but they rather just they rather just you know continue to do what they want to do all right but hey that's prophecy that this word will, will, would go out through the four corners of the earth man many israelites know you know i mean salaki many uh so-called black people so-called hispanic you know so-called uh native american people they know that they israelites man and that's a that's a prophecy written in the scriptures man all right but I want to first begin at Romans chapter 10 And I want to go to um, Verse 14 And it reads uh, How then How then shall they call on him In whom they have not believed And how shall they believe in him In whom they have not heard And how shall they hear without a preacher And how shall they preach Except they be sent As it is written You see So Yahweh Basham al Shah You know has sent back his men you know, Yahweh Basham al Shah has sent back his prophets to warn the people about the things that are about to happen before the destruction is about to take, you know, is about to take, uh, you know, take place in Babylon, man. Because hey, uh, uh, America, you know, Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed, man. So Yahweh Basham al Shah has sent his men, has sent his prophets to send forth that warning to warn the people, man. All right. And we know that one third, all right, the elect is going to be saved. All right, it's going to get beamed up. It's going to get salvation. But two thirds of the nation of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, hey, are going to be left here with, with the destruction, man. So Yahweh Basham al Shah has sent his men to warn. And that's why the scriptures say, you know, if he have an ear, let him hear, right? So uh, to keep going, verse 15, and it says, How shall they, and how, and how shall they preach except they be sent as it is written? How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. And that's what we do, man. You know, we're preaching the good news, man, of the uh, of the kingdom or, you know, the kingdom of Yahweh Basham al Shah. All right. And that's what we're doing. But we see what, you know, our people, you know, our scoffers, you know, our people are unbelievers. Our people are faithless, man. We're seeing that, you know, just like in the times before, man, our people are ultimately denying the Lord, man. It speaks about how they didn't even believe in Moses, right, in the, in the times before, man. They didn't even believe Moses, even after, you know, the great works that he have done, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham al Shah. So how much more us brothers, man, you know, hey, Moses has spiritual powers, 
You know, the Lord blessed the Moses with spiritual powers. You know, departed the Red Sea. And Jake was still unbelieving, man. But as scripture speak about, it say, in that day, thy people will be willing, man. All right? Because all the treacherous things is going to happen. And the Heavenly Father is going to give his men, his servants, spiritual powers, man. All right? But uh, to continue on, it says, but they... Have not all obeyed the gospel for Isaiah said, Lord, who had believed our report, you know, who had believed our report. We go out on the highways and byways week in, week out. We make these videos day in, day out, man. There's constant videos being put out on YouTube, man. It's constant edification, constant breakdowns, man. You know, exhortations every day, man, every single day. But they're still unbelievers, man. They're still scoffers. They're still people making a mockery of your house by Shema And that's why we understand why a judgment must begin at the house of Israel, man. Judgment is going to begin at the house of Israel, man. Called like by Shema And it's the spirit because, you know, I'm parked up making this lesson. And there's a bus that, you know, is right in front of me. And the route number is 1212. And then the bus number is 206133. Lord willing, we be a part of that number, man. But we understand why the Heavenly Father is going to kill the majority of his people, man. And that's the spirit because um, I believe um, the brothers from Mississippi, you know, made a lesson not too long ago. But it, let me see if I can see it. Uh, I think I clicked it, Salakio. But the the uh, the moral, I think it was like the most humanity is not gonna make it, man. All right, the majority of humanity is not gonna make it, man. Especially you, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, so-called Salakio, man. But who had believed our report? <clears throat> who had believed our report, man? Verse seventeen. So faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Most High. But I say, have they not heard? Right. Have they not heard, man? You know, maybe five years ago, 10 years ago, 15, 20 years ago, you know, most people may have may can say they have not heard, man. Hey, but uh, like you say, they sound went into all the world, man. I'm going to continue reading Ver uh, Romans chapter 10, verse 18. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth and their words unto all the ends of the world. You see? You see? So this word has gone out, man. That sound, meaning this word, has gone out and you know, through and the, you know, throughout the majority of this world, man. You got camps in um GMS camps in Italy. You got GMS camps in, you know, uh uh the, the Bahamas. You know, and there's many more camps, man. I can't say it off the top of my head, but it's many camps, man. This word is going out, but we seeing Jake being uh, Jake is just waxing worse and worse, man. Through, through these, uh, even though these prophecies are coming to pass, Jake is just waxing worse and worse, man. And it says, but I say, did not Israel know? First, Moses said, I will provoke you. I will provoke you to jealousy by them that are that are no people and by a foolish nation. I will anger you. But Isaiah is very bold and said, I was found of them that sought me not. And I was manifest unto them, and I was manifest unto them that asked not after me. But to Israel, he said, all day long, I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gang saying people. You see? So that's the same problem we have now, man. Even though these niggas not hearing, even though these niggas, um, even though these people are continuously being scoffers and we still bringing out like the scriptures say i have stretched forth my hands man you know we still making these lessons man we still going out on the highways and byways every week man all right because like the scripture says says whether they hear or forbear all right we're supposed to keep uh pushing this word man it don't matter if you know, as it seems, nobody is listening. We supposed to push this word, and that's what our apostles did, man. Starting with Elder Apostle Har and other apostles and elders and brothers down, man. They pushed out this word, and look how much fruit that you see, man. You're seeing the fruit now. You're seeing, you know, people couldn't deny the truth anymore. Now they coming against it, man. That's a future prophecy, man. All right, and um, let me see. I think that's Second Ezra. Um, I'm trying to remember. 
let me see. I'll grab this quick precept. You know, my shot. Second address. Yup, second address, chapter seven. Let me see. This is second address, chapter seven, verse 59, and it reads, For this is the life where, whereof Moses spake unto the children unto the people while he lived, saying, Choose thee life that thy mayest live. Nevertheless, the people believe not him, nor yet the prophets after him, no, no, nor me, which have spoken unto them. You see, so we're back in our lots, man. They didn't believe the men of the Lord before time. Moses, man, you know, you know, it, it, back then, the mediator between Yahweh Bashmal Shah and the nation of Israel, they ain't even believe in him, man. You know, so how much more now, man? How much more with these wicked niggas, man? You know? <laughs> and we in the time of, you know, Jake, Jake is damn near the most wicked, you know, as they can be right now, man, you know, but we still got to push this word, even if they're going to hear or forbear, right? And, um, I think that's it on that, but let me get, um, let me get second Chronicles chapter 36. All right. <clears throat> This is 2 Chronicles chapter uh, 36, verse 15. And the Lord, Yahweh, of their fathers, sent to them by his messengers, rising up be times and sending, because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. But they mocked the messengers of the Most High and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people till there was no remedy, you see? So that's what we seeing now, man. The misuse, the misusing of the prop uh, of the prophet of Yahweh Bashmal Shah, the misusing of the servants of Yahweh Bashmal Shah, man. It said they mocked them, man. Hey, Babylon the Great gonna be destroyed. Hey, Babylon, hey, America gonna be destroyed. Laughing, America gonna be destroyed. Scoffing, right? You know you you know how it is to mock somebody, man. That's the most level of disrespect. But they not disrespecting us. You know, brothers, don't hey, don't think when somebody's a scoffer or they talking shit about a hey, how about Shemal Shah, they ain't disrespecting us, man. They disrespect they they're disrespecting the heavenly father, man. They just they they're disrespecting <laughs> the, hey, the, the heavenly father and his son. So we we ain't gonna be worried. We shouldn't be worried about when they scoffing, man, because the heavenly Father gonna bring that judgment to them, man. Even though we get upset because you know they disrespecting you know our power, man, our Lord. But at the end of the day, they disrespecting the Lord, man. So just to, just imagine the judgment that they gonna get, man. Okay. Well, let's go to Ezekiel. Um, let me see. Ezekiel, let me see the third chapter. And um let's see. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 26, and it reads, And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb, and, and shall be not to them a reprover, for they are a, for they are a rebellious house. But what I but when I spake with thee, I will open thy mouth. And I, sh and I shall say to them, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Bashamal Shah, He that heareth, let him hear. And he that forbeareth, let him forbear, for they are a rebellious house. You see, so hey, the times that we're coming into, Yahweh Bashamal Shah, is it, it, going to shut us up, man, righteously, man. The Heavenly Father is going to make our tongue to cleave to the root of our mouth, man. And when you do that, you can't speak, man. So all these scoffers, these mockers, these unbelievers in a time of trouble, hey, the Lord is going to make us shut up, man. You know, watching the book of Eli, <laughs> watching the book of Eli, um, you know, um, you know, woman, hey, can I come with thee? Uh, can I follow thee? Hey, Yahweh is going to make us dumb, man. You know, going to make us shut up. And that's what, you know, that's what these people want anyways, right? Going on the highways and byways, you had a nigga say, you you uh you make us look bad. I believe that's what he said, man. So in a time of trouble, hey, he ain't gonna be defended, man. 
All right, in the book of Sirach, the second chapter, it, it tells you, woe unto him uh, that believeth not, or woe unto him that is faint-hearted, shall he, for he shall not be defended in the times of trouble, man. Hey, that's what's coming, man. You know, I, more and more, how about Shemal Shai is hard in our hearts, man. You start to hate Jake, man. You start to despise Jake, man. And you know this is our people, but right now our people are sick, man. And they're not for the Lord. And we are for anyone that's for you. How about Shemal Shai? Truth, truthly and sincerity, man. With all truth and sincerity, man. All right? So, you know, through the spirit, Jake wanted to make this lesson. Matter of fact, let me uh, let me try to get this last verse. Let me get this last verse, Lord willing. And then I'm going to end this lesson. Right, and this is um, Ezekiel chapter thirty-three, verse three. And if he see if the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. And that's what we're supposed to do. All right, we're supposed to blow that trumpet, and that trumpet is these words, man, warning these people that destruction is coming, warning, warning these people that famine is coming, man, warning these people that the sword is coming. You know, and who does Yahweh Shai use the sword through? Esau, Edom. And it says, then, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumping and take of not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning, his blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. So you got to take warning, man. That trumpet is to, is to warn the people, man. Right? That trumpet. And, and that's these words, man. Right? But we're seeing, hey, most of these people ain't taking heed, man. They ain't taking warning. So, hey, we're going to see what happens, man. You know, Yahweh Bashim al has a controversy with his people, man. And we know how that's going to end through the spirit, man. But, hey, I pray that this lesson was edifying. So, to the next time, I want to say, Call Halal Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, or Kakwadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone that we will. Hey, till next time, Shalom, Baba Baba, Kwame Al Shalom.